in entertainment. Giving back is what a lot of people do after they must have made it big in their field of concentration. While some focus on allocating money and time to charity, others have gone straight ahead to the source and helped talents come to the limelight as well as have the world appreciate these talents via their influence. While they've been fortunate enough to have found success in their fields, they know the importance of understanding that sometimes it's necessary to roll up your sleeves and help others who aren't as fortunate. These celebrities show us that no matter how far you go, staying humble and being compassionate to others is always key. One of these good-hearted people is the popular Kenny Ogumbe, also known as Baba Keke. Kenny is no new name to the Nigerian music audience, as his franchise of primetime Africa and his legacies with many iconic singers still hovers fresh in our memories. Kenny has always been a man of bravery and refinement. In his humble beginnings, he has taken his craft with a certain finesse, from his broadcasting beginnings as a co-host on AIT's AIT Jams in the 90s to blooming the talents of several current music veterans. He practically paved the way and created platforms for young talents to showcase themselves to the world and today, we will be talking about 5 music stars that Baba Keke has helped make famous. Other names will follow in a later Star Maker edition. Number 1. Two Face Edibia Innocent Uja Idibia is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, recording producer, and entrepreneur, popularly known as Two Face Idibia and Tubaba since he changed his name in July 2014. Tubaba is one of the most successful and decorated Afro pop artists in Africa with over 70 awards to his name. Although he started his music career when he was at IMT, Kenny Ogumbe is and will always be remembered to be the man behind his success story as he became a viable solo artist under the influence of Baba Keke when he was signed to the record label having had his group called Plantation Boys disbanded. Two Face made his debut studio album Face to Face produced by Kenny under the Kenny's music record label and was his major hit with millions of copies sold which can be largely attributed to the lead track African Queen. It's already a known fact that the music boss made Two Face an international brand and that had him having a special likeness for the artist when he said that Two Face was one of his favorite artists because he saw the name Kenny's music and the highest number of records in the label. Yes, so. Yes, so. Number 2. Idris Abdul Karim. Hello, class. How you doing? Good morning. Another favorite artist of Kenny signed under Kenny's music record label due to his straightforward and honest personality is the music activist Idris Abdul Karim, who he helped make a star. The story of how Idris met Kenny Ogumbe is one to tell how accommodating the music boss is. While Kenny was still anchoring a radio show at Ray Power, Idris was opportune to be at the studio on a particular day and a man named Steve Babaeko asked Baba Keke to listen to a song Idris made with Eddie. Kenny Ogumbe without delay showed Idris some love and even went as far as playing that particular song on radio several times on that day and afterwards. According to Idris, ever since the occurrence of that day, the acceptance he got from Kenny Ogumbe and how frequent Kenny played his song on radio paved way for his career and has since been making tremendous waves in the music industry. His first three albums as a solo artist after his initial group, The Remedies, was disbanded, namely Pass, Mr. Lecturer, and Jaga Jaga, were released under Kenny Ogumbe's record label. Number 3. Tony Tetwila The sideliner and rhyme maker for the group of talented and outstanding boys of the 90s called The Remedies wrote to the limelight on the back of Kenny's music record label, which is the same as Baba Keke himself, since he is the owner of the record label. Although he started his career with his group members, Eddie and Idris, he went solo just like the rest of them after they disbanded the group while still signed to Kenny Ogumbe's music label. Tony's career was perfectly shaped by Kenny Ogumbe, hence his success in the industry at the time. 
Tony had all his four albums, namely Morning Time, My Car, Ego Beta, and West Side Bootleg Volume 1, released under the influence of Baba Keke's label called Kenny's Music Record Label. Number 4. Essence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is super story. The famous Kenny's music long-serving artist, Essence, was launched into stardom after she sang the soundtrack of popular TV drama sitcom, Super Story. It's a super story. She was however relaunched by Kenny's music when she was signed to the record label, which was after being a part of the industry in the capacity of a backup singer to some of the record's signed artists. Although Essence had the contemporary African rhythms and vibes mixed with hip-hop and R&B instilled in her, Kenny Ogunbe used his influence to make her showcase her talents to the world. One of her hit singles titled Facebook Love, which featured J1, remains an outstanding tune for the airwaves. Essence talked about how exhausting it was to get to Kenny Ogunbe to discuss a partnership with the record label. So I called and said, who are you? Why is he hey. I said, my name is Essence. I almost really cares me. She gave me an appointment to call. He said, okay, who well, are you a singer? I said, yes, okay, I sing. I sing. No. <laughs> Eventually, she was able to get ahead after having an awkward singing audition on the phone with ID Ogunbe. Oh, the next time I got it picked again, so oh no! <laughs> but it was fun, it was fun. Bad fun, bad fun. <laughs> Number 5, J1. The Philabe Kruna, whose name is Ile Dare Oluwa Jumonlo. Better known by his stage name J1 on getting to the music industry, first had collaborations with music stars like South Sultan and Two Face in the mid 2000s, and later ensnared an opportunity to perform at the packaged Kenny's music record Easter Fiesta in 2009. It was at that event he made a huge impact, and organizers of the event, which of course included Kenny Ogunbe, banged that interest in him. It was later that year when Kenny Ogunbe signed him to his record label Kenny's Music that his music career began to take a mega turn and even bag a couple of awards. For example, in December 2012, J1 released a hit single Odunyi that got him an endorsement deal with PZ Cousin. Obviously, Kenny Ogunbe is a selfless and kind man whose ingenious thoughts and ideas have changed the way music is being consumed in Nigeria. The records are clear and the impact is very evident that he is a pioneering legend who remains one of the reasons most artists are in the industry today. Baba Keke will always be remembered as one of the pioneers who gave the Nigerian music industry its global heartbeats. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.